So I'm going to teach you how to make a fascinator using a pro cap and a quinoline. So these are pro cap and, and our quinoline. I'm going to teach you how to form bowl with quinoline. What you have to do here is to secure the edge of your quinoline. Secure it, just join them together and sew so that it will not lose, it will not unravel. So that it will not unravel. So I finish securing them. The next thing to do here is to fold your quinoline into two and bend it this way. Bend it this way. You bring this other edge together like this. You have four bows, two bows. So you secure them together. You secure it at the middle. So you form another one and attach it this way. So I'm going to be using this black. I've already formed two bowls. This is the first bowl and the second bowl. And I've put my pearls there. What I will do here is to attach it to my pop cap. Is to attach it. I just use this silver quinoline to show you how a bow is being made so i form two bowls already it's a black quinoline so what i will do here is just to attach it now this pop cap has a higher and a lower part so you attach it to this lower part this way then you secure with your needle and your thread you secure it with your needle and your thread secure it until it is very firm now i've secured it to my cold cap what you do here is to get your alice band or your elastic band so i'll be making use of elastic band when you attach it to the back of the Pop cap. Remember your needle and your thread is still, is still here. So you just take your needle and pass through the elastic band and it will come out here. It will come out here. You will pass it back to the elastic band. You are trying to attach you are trying to attach the elastic band to the pop cap. So you pass it here too, it will come out. So you attach it at as many times as possible until the elastic band is firm on the pop cap. You attach it. So I finished attaching it to my pop cap. What you do here is to cut out your needle and your thread and tie. You tie as many times as possible. This is just a simple fascinator. You can also make it for your kids. Yeah. It's a simple fascinator and it is easy to make. So, then remember to always cut out your excess thread. So that your work will be neat yeah so this is what we've gotten as you can see okay let me try it on my dummy here yeah this is what we've gotten is a simple fascinator look at it easy to make you can also decide to decorate it more as you wish so please subscribe to my youtube channel to get more videos and also like my videos and also share it with your friends thank you